Leo! Hey, how are you? What are you doing here on your own? Oh, hi, Usagi. Yeah, I just, uh, came for a pizza. The usual? Come in right uh, up. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm only getting one slice. Maybe a water, too, if you could. Usagi? Is something bothering you? Huh? We might have not known each other that long, but I can tell something's bothering you. Sitting here on your own? No puns in the last ten seconds? Ordering a single slice of pizza? With water? <laughs> is it really that obvious? What's wrong, Leonardo? It's... A long story. I have time. Uh, do you? Aren't you supposed to be working right now, dude? Oh. I am, aren't I? Mmm... But I have been working for a nice couple of hours. Surely Huesa wouldn't mind if I stepped out for a bit, right? I am so surprised they haven't fired you already. Yep. Anyways, let's get out of here and go talk in the alleyway. For some privacy. Really? Hey, uh... You sure? You don't have to do this, Soggy. I'll probably deal with all of this when I'm back home anyways. No worries. We're friends. I'm here for you is the least I could do. If you say so. Okay, Yokai. Now tell me what's going on. But but take your time. You don't have to tell me anything you're uncomfortable with. You don't really have to do this, Usagi. I don't want you to have to worry about any of this. I'm kind of already worried, Leo. You're usually not this... reflective. At least, not in this way. I want to be able to help you. That's what any good samurai would do. <laughs> you are something else, bunny boy. Hey! It's rabbit boy to you. It's in the name, Usagi. <laughs> Wait. I think they both have the same name in Japanese. Also, I think bunnies are just baby rabbits. But I'm a big boy, so I should go by that. But then again, bunnies are cute. Oh, oh my god, Leo, you're crying. No, it's it's okay. It's okay. Keep going. Oh, Leo. It's okay. It's alright. I'm here. I'm right here. I'm right here, Leonardo. You can let it out. I'm so sorry. I, I fucked everything up. I... I got in a fight with Donnie, and I said some really bad things to him. I, I didn't mean to. I, I was just so scared when he locked me in his lab. I, I couldn't run away. I couldn't do anything, and I feel so fucking useless. Leo. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Usagi. I'm so fucking sorry. I'm so fucking tired of myself. I'm so fucking tired. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgive you. What? I forgive you. Everything's okay now. But whatever happened, or whatever you're feeling, it's justifiable and I forgive you. You... Forgive me? Mm-hmm. Can I tell you something? You remember my friend I mentioned? Named Kitsune? From back home? The spunky, energetic puppeteer? Uh... Sometimes she would get really sad. Like, really sad. She would say she never understood why, but... I think it's because she would often remember her home life from when she was younger. Or lack thereof. She would cry to herself most of the time, but when she felt like she really needed someone, she would go to my other friend, Chizu. But one day when Chizu was out, she actually came to me. She didn't really say anything other than, I'm sorry and I hate this, so it was hard to figure out how to help her. Whenever I said there's nothing to be sorry for, 
or I get it to other people that are sad, some would feel better while others would actually feel worse. I didn't want to take that chance and ruin such a once in a lifetime situation, so I just ended up saying I forgive you. She looked at me surprised at first and and she started crying even more, which honestly scared me. But then she hugged me and thanked me. And at the time, I, I didn't understand why, so I went to my sensei about it. She told me emotions are complicated. Some people don't want you to pretend like everything's okay. Sometimes they want you to acknowledge that things are bad and that they're hurting because of it. Comforting words are nice, but the words in your head are always louder, and I definitely understood that part. What I think she was trying to tell me was that in showing her that her emotions were okay, while also expressing that her faults were okay and seeing she wasn't meant to be perfect, acknowledging her mistakes and accepting that as a part of life, it gave her some sort of clarity and I thought maybe you're feeling the same way those loud voices in your head make it difficult to accept such common phrases like there's nothing to be sorry for I understand you're hurting I understand that I most likely won't be able to relate to your pain but I acknowledge it along with your apology and I forgive you Leonardo When did you get so insightful? I was definitely out of character. Just like you, I can have my moments. Thank you, Saki. No problem, Nardo. I, uh, hope I'm not making you uncomfortable with this hug. I probably should have asked before going in. <laughs> it's fine. You're warm. A and you smell like a cherry blossom tree. Oh, you like it? It was a gift from my Nana before I left. I thought it was for old people. Hm. No wonder you look 20 years older than the last time I saw you. <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> <laughs> you should probably go talk to your brother. There's a chance he's feeling the same way you are right now. Yeah, you're right. I'll go have a talk with him. I'll probably bring the others for some pizza next week. It could be a good de-stressor. And, uh... Maybe I can... Take you out to that Chinese place you talked about recently. Y you know, as a way of saying thanks. <laughs> that sounds nice. Yeah. Well, see you, yokai. See you. And stop calling me a yokai. I'm a mutant. so uh yeah i'm still in there here still in here yeah j just around that table